Hi everyone, this is Fors. Welcome in my first video that is about my impressions from the new Stronghold game. Uh, well, new. If you played Stronghold 3, you can see it is the same game but turned into the desert environment. And there is no so much bugs. Uh, finally, we have our old skirmish mode, some new units, buildings. So, Let's talk about sex. <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, what is new or different from the first Crusader or Stronghold 3. <laughs> there is no Leatherman, Slinger, Tunneler, Siege Tower, even Engineer. New units are Conscript, Ranger, Sergeant at Arms, Slave Driver, uh, Healer, Assassin Knight, or I don't know, Sonic Knight maybe, uh, a Whirlwind. Dervish, Warwolf, and Hussit Warwagon. Let's take a closer look at these units. Conscripts. These guys are like armed peasants from Stronghold 2 and 3. They're useful only if you want to deal with enemy traps or with enemy that is attacking with units like these two. They're easy to kill. Rangers are... Um, Rangers are something between an archer and swordman. Not good as the main unit for long or close range. It is better to train archers and swordmen. However, they cost only 8 gold pieces. If you are financially fucked up, that means you can't train swordmen and archers at the same time. But you need some defense against light armored units. You can use them. Still, it's Better to use someone else though. But who am I to advise you? Hey. It's my first day on YouTube. Do not judge me, people. In addition, all the archers, except horse archers and crossbowmen, have special ability called Volley Fire. This allows your units fire volley of arrows over buildings or walls. Use it if you want to remind yourself some famous scenes from movies like the Lord of the Rings, otherwise you will not use it often. Looks cool, but you know. Sergeant Adams. This fella is one of the useful units in the game. He is pretty same as the usual pikeman, but that is not the important thing about him. Every friendly unit close to him will have raised armor twice. That is making him good to accompany with kind of every unit. And slave drivers. Slave drivers are similar to their European counterparts, Sergeant at Arms, but slave drivers are faster and provides not double, but triple, yeah, triple armor bonus. Nevertheless, they are providing armor bonus only to slaves. You can use them if you want to, f for example, burn some building hmm, that is close to enemy archers. With a slave driver among the slaves, you have better chance to success. A healer. Hm. What should I say about him? Yes. Yeah, it's this grandpa is in other soldiers. You're clever. What a surprise. Hmm? Not hard to kill, thanks to his fabulous pyjama armor. Sasani? Oh, Sasani? Knight? I don't know are pretty alike Crusade Templar Knights, but this lazy swine is only on a horse, unlike the Templar Knight that has to stand on his feet until you send him a horse. Um, I'm sorry, that's, that's my problem. Uh, in addition, uh, he can charge and enemy units. This ability will damage everyone nearby and it is very powerful against group of weak units. Whirlwind Dervish or guy in pyjamas is a Arabian alternative uh, to Maceman. Thanks to his pyjama armor he can't do much damage, but he has two special abilities. He is doing aura damage to all units with light armor, and then he has a charge attack that means he will run towards the hostile target and that will do slight damage. Mm. Maceman on charge ability as well. Uh, Warwolf. Mm -hmm. This is pretty same like Mangonel, but with better armor and stronger attack. That thing on the left 
It's classic Mangona. I put it there just for comparison. Uh, it War Wagon? It is a card that you can fill with archers or crossbowmen. In order to kill archers, you have to destroy the card first. That is a really useful thing during besieging a star castle with walls full of archers because your archers can shoot and move at the same time. Uh, and now buildings. From the first Stronghold Crusader there are not more buildings of course there are some new but lots of the old buildings are lacking here. There is no moat. Thanks to that there is no drawbridge of course. There is only one type of religion building, the church for crusader faction and the mosque for Arabic faction. If you want meat, you have to build a pig farm as a crusader or a sheep farm as an Arabic lord. You have only three types of towers for every faction. Now you can't place a ballista or mangonel on the top of the tower. But you can build engine turrets everywhere you want. Nevertheless, you do not have to put much effort to destroy it. It's really weak. From all turrets there is new Hader launcher. Uh, this thing is throwing a flaming bail of hay. And in the destination it creates big... Um, what was that word? Never mind. Uh, let's call it... Uh, a ring of fire, a ring of fire. Thanks, Mr. Cash, thank you. It was him? You don't believe me? You're jealous. Admit it. And that was about buildings. Now I want to talk about things that were changed or removed because I think it is worth of notice they did not add some great features and units from the old Crusader. I'm just wondering why. For example, a Leatherman. This unit is no longer here, but why is that? <laughs> it was another way how to conquer a castle. You know, you had to kill all the archers, then take some Leathermen and Swordmen and you're there. Or why is that you cannot create a moat? Again, a next way how to defend your castle. But for some reason, it is not here. Or I don't get this uh, thing with towers. Arches on the high towers can fire on the longer distance, logically. But if you play as a crusader, you can build three types of towers, and one of them is, I think, the second highest highest uh, tower in the game, and it is a very strong tower too. However, the other two are small and weak, so why should I build them? Yeah, they are cheap, but <laughs> still it is better to make more stones and then build the strongest one than a few of these. Uh, and do you remember the fabulous guy that was holding a book? This, this corner was his place, I think. <laughs> he was indicating uh, thoughts of common people like enjoyment from double rations, no taxes and other things. Or now you cannot see thoughts and gossips of your peasants. It is a shame all these gossips were depending on your actions like how many pups you have, how high are taxes or use of fear factor buildings. I really liked knowing what they think like when I had too much pups, they had opinion about me. Um, Into intoxicated every day <laughs> or I remember like some of the peasants used to told me things like or, morning a lot sheep or <laughs> no taxes are good taxes that's my motto <laughs> and there is more of the things Firefly Studios forget to add here I think these things were one of the important features of Stronghold series and it's, it's a pity um, feasting, honor system, music. Music! Oh, I forgot. The music is nothing special here, really. Music from Stronghold 1, 2, even 3 was good though. Oh, music from Stronghold 3 was one of the best things they did. They could make some good music here too. 
I don't find I don't find it good as it was in previous strongholds. I was told it is the same music from the first stronghold crusader, but it sounds different. I don't know if this if it just seems to me, but the game is easier than the first crusader. On this map, my enemies are Saladin and Wolf, two of the best AIs. But even so. What I mean is they are trying to hurt me, but it's nothing special. It's true, I have a good position for defending, but it's two against one. And I don't have a problem with them. They're attacking me together for more than, yeah, 30 minutes. In the first stronghold, Crusader was difficulty fair. But there it's, it's too easy, I think. I thought it will be harder, or at least same. What do you think? Huh? 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 <laughs> After all years and games like Stronghold Legends or Stronghold 3, this is finally good. Um, I'm, en I'm enjoying it. It is not better than Origin Crusader, but still it is not bad as previous games I mentioned. Maybe price could be better. 35 uh, euro is too much for almost same game like 12 years ago. I wonder what Firefly Studios wants to do now. God, they can't just develop another stronghold. Certainly not now. That's, that's everything for me. Everything I wanted to say about this game. Thanks for your time. If you like this video, please support me by subscribing my channel or with some other way like like button. It's your choice. If you want to talk about this video, if you want to ask something or you want to give me a proposal about another video or whatever, commentary section is here for you. And one more thing, uh, if you could tell me about my mistakes in English in this video, it would be very kind of you, um, because English is not my native language, but I want to speak one day like it is. Thanks for your time again. See you later.